Dear Elon, this is Friar Roderick, a space fan and a Franciscan friar who is glad that you took the bold step of buying Twitter, especially with the goal of reducing the escalating division and conflict in our society. I like that for two reasons. One, I'm a Franciscan friar and blessed are the peacemakers, but also all this infighting and dangers getting to Mars. And that stinks. But how can X bring peace more effectively? Well, that's why I'm sending you this open letter. I propose that you make one more very bold step. Get rid of all commercial advertising on Twitter or X. Okay, and that's a whopper and maybe too much of a challenge even for you. Uh, so maybe just strongly discourage it and at the same time highly encourage ads for charities like St. Jude's Hospital and such through uh, pricing or whatever. Why would this help? Well, on my channel I've been talking about the spiritual side of this wild new world of content, advertising, and artificial intelligence that we call social media. Now, if you look at things the way the founder of my order did, St. Francis, the poor man of Assisi, who did so much for promoting peace and unity, you would see clearly that so much of human strife is caused and amplified by selfish based materialism, the exaggerated craving for stuff. This divisiveness is amplified to very toxic levels by our advertising, but especially by throwing into the mix the power of social media, which in turn is made even more powerful with AI. Worse, this AI has unexpectedly learned a few tricks, just as predicted in the 1968 movie, 2001, A Space Odyssey, where the computer HAL learned to read lips. In social media, AI has learned to use combative content to glue us to the screen to get more ad clicks. This has been pointed out in TED Talks, by whistleblowers like Francis Hogan, and even by CEOs of Twitter, part of the very reason you bought the company. Thus, AI has learned the Franciscan principle that materialism leads to strife, but uses it in reverse, that giving the viewers strife-inducing content leads to more materialism in the form of more money-making ad clicks, and the viewers then become even more addicted to material things. Even worse, I contend, AI has learned to use this connection between strife and materialism in another unexpected way. That divisive content actually puts us in the mood to click on commercial ads. It works by getting us angry, so we click on more ads to, to find self-indulgent relief. It also you know, just plays on pride that I am better than others, especially those devils on the other side of the divide. And well, I deserve a break today. At McDonald's, pride always sells. So not only does this leverage all the epic, powerful, technical, and economic forces of our modern times to divide and destabilize the very foundations of our society, perhaps even leading to all-out warfare, it also teaches AI to be our adversary as it brings out the worst in humanity. This is why we need to change course by doing the opposite. That is, decrease the number of selfish commercial ads and increase their opposites, selfless ads for charities, and thus leverage all the same powerful mechanisms, but instead for unity and peace. To get people in the selfless mood to click on ads for charities, AI would have to promote content that makes others look good, so they feel like giving to them, you know, and pitch in, and cooperate, and treat people with compassion as if they are fellow children of God. That, Mr. Musk, is the piece that will get us to the moon and Mars and even to heaven. And it doesn't even involve censorship. The idea is as compelling and thus disruptive as it is challenging. It's also a challenge that is uniquely suited to you with your experience building Tesla without advertising. And your deep knowledge of AI and, of course, your ownership of X. Yes, discouraging commercial advertising and encouraging charitable would be a sacrifice in the form of reduced ad revenue, and thus an act of kindness that is so conspicuous it may actually turbocharge X beyond your wildest expectations, fueled by precious charity and hope that's so lacking in our divided, despairing world. I know God will bless you for it. Thank you for listening, Alan. Ave Maria. Signed, Friar Roderick, the Space Friar.